Hi there and welcome to another demo video series. This video is going to focus on what it looks like to configure layer 3 on a supported MS series Meraki switch. Layer 3 allows for you to route between subnets on the same physical switch. Currently all the models in the MS320 and 420 series as well as the end of sale MS42 and 42P can support layer 3. Why don't we go ahead and set up a couple of routed interfaces so we can see what this looks like in dashboard. The way that you can quickly determine which of the switches in your network are capable of layer 3 is by adding the layer 3 routing column. Now you can see I'm clicking the plus button here and simply checking routing status. From here you immediately get not supported if the switch doesn't support layer 3 or not enabled if the switch has not yet had layer 3 initialized. Let's choose this one. Now you can see that the switch has the option and also a link to initialize. If I click on this, there's a really nice option available to go ahead and fill or use the current management information that the switch already has for the first routed interface. Now this is more often than not exactly what you want to do when you initialize layer 3 because it's going to basically copy over the LAN IP of the switch and that's typically in the management VLAN that you have on your network. It even pre-populates the VLAN, which you can of course change. Now in this case, the only thing I need to do is name this interface, which is optional. I'm going to call it Management VLAN. The last option I have, which is it is an optional, uh, is to relay DHCP requests. Because DHCP is served locally on the subnet, I'm going to leave that blank, and you'll see here it's not going to relay DHCP. Now as soon as I click Initialize Layer 3, you'll notice that we now have one SVI or routed interface and a, an explicit default route gets defined. This route cannot be deleted. If you try to delete it, you'll see you get an error because it's, it's an explicit route that's necessary to be there and it's going to use the next hop IP address of the management routed interface that we just defined. Now moving forward, many, many times you're going to want to configure multiple sub-interfaces. We've just defined one, but the reality is with the current configuration, the switch is doing nothing differently. You need multiple interfaces to set up and support routing on the switch. So let's go ahead and choose Add Another Layer 3 Interface. You'll see you have a nice pop-up dialog asking for the information for the interface and the option to save or save Add Another if you have a couple to add. So the workflow is very smooth and very quick. Let's say we have a voice over IP subnet, or VLAN, and let's just go ahead and pick an arbitrary subnet, 10.0.5.0.24. And we're going to go ahead and just give it an IP of 10.0.5.1. Now let's call it VLAN 5, and let's go ahead and relay DHCP to the gateway on the network, which is 192. 168.37.254, in this case an MX security appliance. Now as soon as we save this, you'll note that there's now a second routed interface. Devices wanting to talk from one subnet to another are now going to be supported to do so without the traffic leaving the switch, and it's really that easy to set up and configure routing on the switch. Now in addition to that, you may need to configure static routes. Static routing is what allows for you to actually tell the switch what to do with traffic from another subnet and where you want its next hop to go. So if I click and say add a static route, you can define it here, specify the subnet you want to route, and then tell the switch which IP address to use as its next hop. It's really that easy to set up. As soon as you define and save, you'll see it add in the route table here. Now there's one additional thing that's really a nice to have, which is uh, this layer 3 routing section under configure. You'll notice that a lot of what we just did was switch specific, but the reality is once you set it all up, you may want to manage it all for all of the switches in the entire network. So you're going to see now for this lab infrastructure network, this page under switch configure is going to list all of the different subnets and switches that have layer 3 enabled as well as all of the static routes. Now we haven't yet defined any besides the explicit uh, or default route and that's why there's nothing here but I can also from this page go ahead and define additional subnets 
and which switches I want to apply that to. There's only one switch with layer 3 initialized, so there's only one option here. Thanks so much for joining me as we take a look at initializing layer 3 and configuring routed interfaces on the Meraki MS switches. And remember, there's other videos available by going to docs.meraki.com forward slash MS. See you next time.